Okay, hi, it's Victor from Bicycle Lab. Today I have my friend Josh Cohen here. Uh, Josh is a physical therapist and uh, I think is, is the top expert in the field of bicycle seats. He's invented a seat called a contact seat, is that right? Um, he's a biomechanist. Josh is a, a bit obsessive about uh, bicycle seats and, that, and anatomy. And today in this series, we're gonna start out and we're gonna talk about anatomy. And this is the first video in a whole series about bicycle saddles. This is the bony pelvis. The leg bone attaches here in this socket. Down here are the sit bones or the ischial tuberosities. If the rider sat very upright, this is where they would feel the pressure going through. As the rider starts to lean further forward, that pressure is redistributed towards the pubic rami. It's this part of the bone here between the sit bones and the pubic symphysis. So as the rider leans further forward, more of the weight goes on the pubic rami and comes off of the sit bones and comes more centrally here in the seat. Men and women do have differences in their pelvises, but it might not be what you expect. The difference between men and women's sit bone widths are actually fairly small, about 9% depending on the study, 9% difference that is. The real difference between men and women's pelvises has to do with this angle right there between the pubic rami, that's called the infrapubic angle. And in women, it's a larger angle than in men to allow for childbirth. But that really makes a difference when the rider starts to lean forward on the seat because of this curvature here as it bulges up in the middle. Women's wider infrapubic angle can allow that saddle to press up into the soft tissues more easily. And that's a concern because on the inside borders of these pubic rami, there runs arteries and nerves called the pudendal arteries and and pudendal nerves that run up there to the soft tissues and the genitals. And in men, they come out here, right underneath the pubic symphysis. And in women, they stop right there. So as you lean forward, if that seat starts to press up between your pubic rami into your pelvis and soft tissues, it'll start compressing those nerves and arteries, which can lead to pain and discomfort and long-term dysfunction. This beautiful speaker wire demonstrates the close proximity between the nerves and the arteries and the veins, the pudendal arteries and structures that I was talking about, as they run along the inner borders of the pubic rami and exit right underneath the pubic symphysis in a male. As I mentioned, in a female, they would stop right underneath there. So as the rider leans further forward, the further they get, the more compressive stress they're going to get right under that pubic symphysis on those nerves and arteries. And imagine you're a time trial rider or a triathlete who starts riding forward on the nose where you're getting all the pressure directed right there underneath that pubic symphysis, easily squishing those little arteries, which you can think of as delicate little straws, and it pushes up against those. So why is it bad if you compress your nerves or arteries, right? Well, if you compress an artery, you have arteries running on both sides. So if you press just one side, you're going to get decreased blood flow that you might not notice when you're riding. But over a long period of time, if you always decrease your oxygen to your tissues, you're going to get a lot of physiological changes that can lead to dysfunctions. If you compress a nerve when you're bicycling, you're probably going to feel it right away. It could be irritation, tingling, numbness. And that can also continue after you get off the bike for a little while. These issues with compression of nerves and arteries don't just affect men. They affect women just as much. And women have a lot of serious issues as well from bicycle seats, which we'll also cover in future videos. So Josh, that was awesome information. Thank you very about, much. About, uh, you know, how, how we interact with the bicycle seat. And we have a whole bunch more videos coming. And, uh, just wanted to talk about Josh for a second. Josh is the inventor of this seat. Contact saddle with a K. Look it up.